three years ago, there was a fellow here from Australia, and uh, he, he brought along this idea of driving on the on the same trams, and it's it's something that they've done for for years. Uh, we we thought he was off his rocker when we talked to him. Uh, he looked at our our big duels and fat tires, and we we really didn't think that uh, there was anything to this CTF. Uh, we always thought that the freeze thaw cycle would look after any compaction out in the field, and we definitely get frost here. And and uh, so we left thinking that he was he was crazy and. He left probably thinking that we didn't know what we were doing. I guess, uh, uh, you know, over the year after we visited with him, uh, we thought about how much we were actually driving on the fields and, and uh, taking a closer look at, at our roots and, and uh, thinking about this freeze-thaw cycle and kind of came to the conclusion that maybe only the freeze-thaw looks after the top six or eight inches, if that and uh, the soil has to be wet in order for that freeze-thaw cycle to work. Uh, so we ended up thinking that maybe we better go investigate further, so we went over to Australia and visited 20 farms, and, and uh, that really opened our eyes up to some of the, some of the advantages and, and uh, got some education on how to do it. Uh, from there we came back and set up a bit of a program where we've got three uh, three or four fields across Alberta. On, on our farm we set up uh, a field that's 450 acres. We've got the half section that's dedicated to CTF and we've got a quarter section off to the side of it that we're driving all over the place and, uh, and uh, we're collecting data on it and, and uh, you know, just trying to see if it is something that works in our area. We think it's the thing to do and it's giving us some advantages that we never even thought of uh, at, at the beginning. Mm -hmm.